the process of putting two people together from our system, sometimes called conferencing. In most cases, it is our customer and their caller that we are patching together. Once we perform the patch, the two individuals continue their conversation outside of our infinity, allowing you to become available for the next caller. In this module, you will learn about the different types of patches, how to perform a patch in both Basic Infinity and IS, as well as what you will see on your screen while performing a patch. There are three types of patches that you will perform for our customers. A controlled patch, also called conference, a warm patch, sometimes referred to as warm transfer, and a cold patch, otherwise known as a blind patch. In all three cases, you will carry out a conversation with the caller until you get to the patching portion of the message. One key ingredient to a WOW experience with any type of patch is informing the caller of the patch and asking their permission to place them on hold to perform the patch. Because most callers do not refer to this type of experience as a patch, we ask them if we may place them on hold to connect them to our customer. This is a great time to use personalization with the caller, as well as thinking like a customer by making the caller believe that we are patching them through to one of our own coworkers, even though you have likely never met our customer and their staff. Let's listen to an example of a wow experience of informing callers of a patch and placing them on hold. Thank you for calling Fly With Me Travel. This is Karen. How may I help you? Hi, Karen. This is Emily with Fly With Me Travel. How are you today? I'm good, Emily. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Actually, I'm not really doing all that well. We have all of our messages, once you guys take them, get sent over to us automatically via fax and email. And I've noticed lately in the last week or so that I've gotten a few numbers that are wrong. And obviously that's not good for me because if I don't have the right number to call people back at, it means I don't have any business from them. I really need to talk to somebody to get this problem fixed so that I get right numbers so I can help grow my business. Emily, I am so sorry to hear that you're having these issues, and certainly we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing um, regarding your account and getting the information correct. Now, what I would like to do is get you through to one of our customer service managers to assist you, um, and certainly they'll be able to take a look at the account, take a look at the messages, and see what's going on and look into making sure that we um, are getting the right information each and every time for you. Would you be okay with me placing you on hold while I try our customer service manager? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. In most cases, we are asked by our customers to patch all calls. When asked this, what the customer wants is for these calls to be controlled patches. On these calls, you will announce to the caller that you will be connecting them with our customer, and then introduce the two parties. Once you have performed the introduction, you will then disconnect the call, saving the message. In the case of a warm patch, you would transfer a caller and announce to the person you are patching to who is on the line and then leave the conversation without introducing the two parties. A cold patch occurs when you inform the caller that you will be putting them through or connecting them to a specific person or a more general department, such as billing. You would then dial the number to patch to and, after verifying the ring, would leave the call without waiting for the two parties to be connected. Patching an IS is controlled by the script itself, no matter if it is a controlled patch, a warm patch, or a cold patch. It will walk you through the patch for each step, and in the end you will determine if delivery of the message was successful or not with the last step of the patch. With an IS script, when the customer wants us to patch their callers, you will follow the script and utilize the patch button. When you reach the step of patching, once you inform the caller that you will be connecting them with our customer and ask if you can place them on hold, you will not need to manually place them on hold. Instead, the act of clicking the patch button will do this for you. It will also automatically dial the person on call that you are attempting to patch to. You will hear the phone ringing, and if our customer that you are patching to is available, you will hear them answer. This is where the type of patch comes into play. Remember that if it is a controlled patch, you will introduce yourself to our customer, inform them who you have on the line, and ask if you can connect them. You will then connect our customer to our caller and inform the caller that you have our customer on the line. Let's listen to an example of a wow experience of a successful controlled patch. I'm so sorry to hear that you're experiencing that. If you can hold for one moment, I'm going to try to put you through to our on-call nurse who will be able to help you, and her name is Lisa. All right, thank you. One moment, please. Hi, this is Lisa. Hi, Lisa. This is Christina calling from Apple Tree Answering Service. Yes. I have an urgent call from patient 
Miss Ritzy, and she's experiencing horrible headaches. Would I be able to put her through to you? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. One moment, please. Thank you so much for holding, Miss Ritzy. I have Nurse Lisa on the line for you. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Take care. Keep in mind that when performing a warm patch, you will introduce yourself to our customer and inform them who you have on the line and ask if you can connect them. Because you do not need to introduce the two individuals, you want to put the two callers together at this point and take yourself out of the call. Let's listen to an example of a wow experience of a successful warm patch. Miss Betsy, I'm so sorry to hear that you're experiencing that. If you can hold for one moment, I can put you through to our on-call nurse, who is Lisa for this evening, and she can better assist you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is Lisa. Hi, Lisa. This is Christina calling from Apple Tree Answering Service. Hi, Christina. I have an urgent call from patient Miss Ritzy on the line. She's experiencing horrible headaches. Could I please put her through to you? Oh, absolutely. All right, thank you. One moment, please. Thank you, Christina. Remember that if it is a cold patch, you will not need to introduce yourself to our customer. You will just put the customer and the caller together and take yourself out of the call. Let's listen to an example of a wow experience of a successful cold patch. I'm so sorry to hear that, Miss Ritzy. Uh, if you can hold for one moment, I'll put you through to the on-call nurse this evening, which would be Lisa. And if she's not available, please leave a voicemail for her. Okay, thank you. To take yourself out of a patch once you have connected the caller and our customer, making any introductions that are needed, there is a choice presented to you of two options. One is, if able to complete patch, and the second is, if our customer was not available. By choosing if able to complete patch, you are identifying that the patch was successful and the script will walk you through saving the message and connecting the caller and our customer. After choosing the if able to complete patch option, the next step is key. You will click next to save your message before you connect the callers. You will press the Alt F1 keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Choose line one by highlighting it and then press enter. Once you have connected the two lines together, you will see within your answer phrase line conference, labeled conf, which will show you that you have successfully conferenced the two parties together. Once you have connected the caller and our customer together, you will continue with any additional introductions needed. After you have completed any introductions, you will continue through the script, completing any portion of the message needed, including any annotations referencing the patch prior to removing yourself from the call. Once you have saved your message, you will see the message ticket with the disposition of this call was patched to our customer at the top showing a successful patch. At this time, you can F4 or done the account, which will remove you from the patch and the account from your screen, making you ready for the next call. If the patch was unsuccessful and our customer was not available or chose not to take the call, you will choose if our customer was not available from the options presented to you. By choosing this option, you are identifying to the script that the patch was not successful and it will disconnect you from the attempted call to our customer. Knowing the needs of our customer is a key step prior to choosing the if our customer was not available option. If your instructions say to leave a voicemail message in an unsuccessful patch, you will leave that voicemail for our customer prior to choosing that option. Once you click the option, if our customer was not available, you will be brought to a closing screen with a script to assist you with your introduction back to the caller. After you have closed with the caller, you will click next to save your message and there will be no call disposition at the top of the call. You are now done with the call and you can click the F4 or done key to remove the count from your screen and put you ready for the next call. Patching in Basic Infinity is controlled by you using the same steps and keystrokes, no matter if it is a controlled patch, a warm patch, or a cold patch. In the end, you will determine if delivery of the message was successful or not with the last step of the patch. With the Basic Infinity script, you will be the controller and will rely on key functions. Unlike with IS, when you are at the portion of the conversation where you have asked the caller to hold, you will manually place them on hold by pressing F1. You will then locate the number to connect the caller to the customer from either the info pages or the directory. Once you have located the number, you will bring up the dial box, or F6, and press enter to dial the number. You will then hear the ringing of the customer's phone. 
If you successfully reach your customer, you will make any introductions needed and then press the Alt F1 keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Choose line 1 by highlighting it and then press enter. Once you have connected the two lines together, you will see within your answer phrase line conference, labeled C-O-N-F, which will show that you have successfully conferenced the two parties together. You will then have connected the caller and our customer together and will continue with any additional introductions needed. After you have completed any introductions, you will complete any portion of the message that is needed, including any annotations referencing the patch as well as delivering a message. Once the message is complete, you will press the Done or F4 key to remove yourself from the conversation and put you ready for the next call. If you are unable to reach our customer, knowledge of the dispatch instructions is important. If we are to leave a voicemail for the customer, you will do so at this time before you return to the caller. To return to the caller, you will press the Alt and F4 keys simultaneously to hang up on your attempted patch to the customer and return to your conversation with the caller. You will then inform the caller that you were unsuccessful in reaching our customer, and when finished with your conversation, you will press Alt and F4 again to end the conversation with the caller. After you have ended your conversation with the caller, you will finish any portion of the message that is needed. You will then park the call into dispatch distribution to allow any further steps to be completed, and then you are ready to F4 or done the account and put you ready for the next call. Oftentimes, when our customers call in to retrieve a message, they will ask to be connected or put through to their caller. When this request is made, you will complete a controlled patch, introducing the caller to the customer prior to removing yourself from the conversation. Whether the account is programmed in IS or Basic Infinity, you will patch our customer to their caller by following the Basic Infinity process. When requested to patch our customer to their caller, you will manually place our customer on hold by pressing F1. You will bring up the dial box, or F6, enter the caller's number, and press Enter to begin the dialing of the number. You will then hear the ringing of the customer's phone. If you successfully reach the caller, you will make any introductions needed and then press the Alt and F1 keys simultaneously on your keyboard and choose line 1 by highlighting it and then pressing Enter. You will then have connected the caller and our customer together and press the Done or F4 key to remove yourself from the conversation. You can then annotate the message that you patched our customer to the call, as well as press F9 to manually deliver the message. Once you have delivered the message, you are ready to F4 or done the account and put you ready for the next call. You have reached the end of our module on patching and now have a basic understanding of the different ways in which we bring customers and their callers together. As an expert, you serve as the front line for our customers, gathering necessary information from callers and helping to guide them towards a solution to their problem or request. Customers will respect the fact that you have followed the patch instructions that they have laid out to perfection, while callers will appreciate your dedication to putting them in touch with the person most capable of providing assistance. Respected and appreciated. Sounds like a rewarding career to me.